but I think after three days of working on this, it's uh, even more intense. My name is Tracy Dame, and I'm host for, for the last few days of the summit. And this is Casey, one of the stars of this upcoming documentary. It's going to be out soon. Uh, it's already in festivals. Um, Casey, I wanted to uh, see if you wanted to say a couple minutes about being participating in the film and what that was like for you. Um, well, participating in the film was a, a great deal to me. I didn't know that it was going to get as much feedback that it did. Um, but it was a very interesting experience for me, especially during the time that I was homeless. I was homeless during the time they came up to me and was like, oh my God, Casey, we really love your personality. We love how you talk. We would love to follow your story and see where you came from and see where you can go. So I gave them that time and they really took it upon themselves to really capture me as a person. And it, it was a really good experience for me. We uh, just went to Toronto. We had our work from in there, and we got a really, really good feedback. I just heard from one of the people who was with me that we sold out all three shows, wow. which was a very big deal. <laughs> <laughs> that's only in Toronto. Who knows what we can do actually in the United States, which, which I hope we have that same turnout because this is where we really need to have that turnout. We need to have more people aware about homeless youth, not even just homeless youth, just LGBT youth that are homeless. We need them to be advised about it, and we hope that we can have the same turnout here that we did there. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Casey, Casey participated in parts of the summit. Um, can you maybe tell us a couple lessons learned and your own experience and, and also from the summit, what you might have as a participant learned? Well, for the summit, I really think that, for because I was here Friday for the very first time, and I think that it was very well put together. It was a very nice turnout from the community as well. Um, like, as far as the workshops and stuff, I think that that was very well put together. I heard a lot of people saying a lot of things, even when they it came to, like, their barriers that they had. Some had actual solutions yes. to their barriers that they were going through. Some, some knew how to work through it, and some were going through it, and the ones who didn't know how to you know, take care of those barriers, they learned how to do that in those summits. And it was a very open space, it was very comfortable. I feel like it was very, um, a well-rounded type of event for me. Great. Um, final question would be for yourself, when you were experiencing homelessness, what would, be, what would have helped you get through that better? <sighs> mm. Well, actually, I think that me being homeless went the way that it was supposed to go because if it didn't go the way that it didn't that it went i feel that i wouldn't be where i am today because if anything would have went different who knows why i'd be right now because <clears throat> if i didn't use the resources that i had at the time or if i didn't go to certain job opportunities if i didn't get in school i wouldn't be here today yeah. or my story would be different but um Living in Chicago, you just got to just really go with the flow and actually use your resources and be open to let somebody know your situation. That's what actually helped me out better. It was when I let people know what was going on with me, that's when doors start to open up for me. Great. Well, thank you so much for your participation. We look forward to seeing you the whole time.